Melissa Sandvig. I'm a freelance dancer and ballet instructor. And we're here at Long Beach Ballet Arts Center where I trained as a student. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between balanchine and classical ballet technique. There's a huge controversy about this, whether or not balanchine is a technique style or just a style of dance. And I believe that it is a certain technique. Um, the technique of, of balanchine is so that you can perform his choreography, which a lot of the times is a lot faster. The arms are a little bit more flowery. The hands are a little bit more distinct. Um, the heels rarely touch the ground because you're moving so fast. Um, the body type is usually a little bit different because of the way Balanchine preferred his dancers to be a little more slender. Um, the hips are a little bit more forced into uh, different positions than in classical ballet, like Vaganova or Cicchetti or R.A.D. So I think that in order to perform Balanchine, then you have to be trained in his style. So um, there, there are a few mild differences in classes. Things move a little bit faster. Heels are up a little bit, and the arms are a little bit more um, flourished. So those are the only main differences. It all wraps in together um, in ballet technique. All, everybody now kind of meshes all of them together. Um, but the, the, the balancing technique is used for his choreography mainly. So it is a style, but it's also a technique. And um, I guess that's all I have to say about that. I'm Melissa Sandvig, and that's kind of the difference between balancing and traditional classical ballet. Thank you.